I need you to like give me some analysis. I'll ask you the questions. Hey everybody, I'm Des Moines Register High School football reporter Andy Hamilton here at the Register Newsroom after the quarterfinal round. So now the semifinals are set. It'll be number four, Dowling Catholic against number five, Waukee, next Friday night in the Uni Dome. Uh, before that game, it's going to be Cedar Rapids of Washington against Benton North in the other 4A semifinal. But uh, we're going to break down the two quarterfinal matchups here in the area tonight that we just saw. Number five, Waukee, took out number three, Valley, 12 nothing. Tremendous performance by the Warriors, particularly uh, their star players. The stars certainly showed up tonight for Waukee. Trevor Allen, 35 carries, 196 yards. Defensive end Anthony Nelson set up shop in the Valley backfield. Just uh, spent the night totally harassing Valley quarterback Rocky Lombardi. Really didn't give him a lot of time to set his feet and get comfortable in the pocket. A lot of Valley's yards came when when uh, Lombardi got outside the pocket, either on scrambles or made things happen in the passing game after he escaped the pass rush. But uh, he really had a tough time, and Valley had a tough time sustaining drives. Uh, the Tigers had six drives that died inside Waukee territory. They they were threatening in the third quarter. It was 10 to nothing, Waukee. And uh, Drew, Bre Drew Gray got the ball popped loose and Trevor Allen fell on it in the end zone to uh, shut down one uh, Valley drive. Another Valley drive ended when Jacob Fay picked off a pass in the end zone. And uh, you know, Valley coach Gary Swenson, he said that, that Valley just could not win any individual matchups on offense. So Valley's 10 game win streak comes to an end. The Tigers lost the opener to Waukee. They, their season comes to a close with a loss to Waukee. Swenson talked afterward about how, you know, Valley developed into a good football team, just not good enough to beat a team like Waukee in the end. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, just tremendous performances from the star players by Waukee. I mentioned Trevor Allen and Anthony Nelson, but Michael Jacobson caught four passes for 55 yards. Uh, two were big third down receptions that set up Valley score, Waukee scores. And Pat Gray picked off a pass, Waukee collected four takeaways on defense. So the Warriors advanced to the semifinals for the first time in class 4A. They've set a 4A or a program record for 4A victories with 11 now. And they're going to get a rematch against Dowling Catholic, the team that handed Waukee its only loss of the season 45-14 back in in week uh, 3. Uh, Dowling Catholic continues to roll ever since that loss to Valley. The the Warriors or the Maroons have been on a tremendous tear ever since then. Uh, they roll into the semifinals with a 48-14 win against Ankeny. Uh, it was 41-0 at halftime. Dowling Catholic had two punt returns from Michael Zachary that went for scores. And that team just continues to, to roll. Uh, 421 points in its uh, previous seven games coming into tonight. The, the uh, Maroons didn't quite get to that average, that 60-point average that they've been on. But uh, right now they're sitting... If I'm not mistaken, they're one point short of the 4A scoring record for most points in a season. Uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to Friday night. We're going to see another tremendous uh, semifinal matchup. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of adjustments Waukee makes against Dowling Catholic. The last go round, as I mentioned, 45-14. The Warriors didn't have Pat Gray, who's one of their most versatile players, one of their best players in that game. Uh, they were without a couple other guys in that game as well. The the big key, I think, for Waukee, we're going to break this down in the next week, but one of the big keys for Waukee is is can the corners come up and play tight coverage because that, that's where Dowling Catholic really got a, a lot going uh, in that first matchup. Ryan Boyle was able to pick apart that, that Waukee secondary with a lot of short passes. Can... Waukee bring those corners up and defend the pass a little bit better. The other thing that Waukee's going to have to shore up, uh, the Warriors had two punts, two punts blocked uh, in the first half of that game where things got out of hand, and they were just never able to establish a running game with Trevor Allen. He's held the less than 20 yards in that game. So that's going to do it for the quarterfinals. Uh, we're also going to break down, as I mentioned, we're going to break down the semifinal matchups as the week goes along, but uh, check back to DesMoinesRegister.com for 
our coverage of the quarterfinal round and our look ahead to what's to come in the state semifinals.